Candace Downey. Candace was one of those very special children. She was a child that everybody loved. She'd make you laugh because she'd come in in her crazy outfits and like fake eyelashes. Yeah. I'd always put on music while I was getting ready for bed, and she used to knock on my wall, because her was right over there, and she'd knock on the wall and tell me to be quiet, and just little things like that. She would get to school, and she would basically freeze and just not be able to give the information that she knew. When I went to the pediatrician, he said, if, if you're continuing to be concerned, then go to a child psychiatrist. When I took her to the psychiatrist, he immediately placed her on a sample packet of Zoloft from his office. And I was not happy about placing her on medication. However, while we were sitting there, I read a pamphlet about Zoloft, and it said, oh, your child will be happy, and everything will be all better. And there was not one risk listed in this pamphlet. About six months later, when she was getting ready to start seventh grade, he explained to me, well, she's going to be more nervous and more anxious, and I really think we need to double it. I didn't want to, and he said, what are you worried about? Kids take one to 200 milligrams a day without any problem at all. There's no risk. My husband and daughter were both home the day that she died. I'd gone out to have lunch with a friend, but when I left, Candace was curled up in her father's arms and they were laughing watching Animal Planet. I had no way of knowing that was the last time I'd see her alive. But I went up to her room and I opened the door and she was hanging from the valance of her bed with her knees drawn up. And the first thing I said to my husband is, they've killed her. 12-year-old girls just don't kill themselves. We interviewed six families from across the country, and the one thing we found common with all these families was that they were never told the side effects of these drugs. They were never told that an antidepressant can cause suicide. Caroline Downey narrated this film as a legacy to Candace and as a warning to others. Just eight months after my sister died, my parents spoke before the FDA about the dangers of antidepressant drugs. It was then I knew we weren't alone. It was then I knew there were stories to be told. My child deserved to live. I deserved to have my child. My daughter deserved to have a sibling instead of being an only child. No one deserves to go through what I've gone through. I'm really angry because this never had to happen and nothing I do can bring my daughter back. But I'll be damned if I stand by and watch other children die and I will do whatever it takes. I will go wherever I need to go. I will speak out wherever I can to tell people, don't be fooled. The blood of these children is on your hands. There was nothing that would ever lead me to understand the risks that have been associated over and over again with this particular medication. Well, I'm here to tell you, everyone that I have met that has had a child die in this way is an educated, articulate person who had only the best interests of their child at heart. And as I said at the hearings on Monday, September 13th, our children's blood is on their hands. And I have spent so much time, so many hours, working with so many organizations to try and get the word out. Following the testimonies of so many families along with concerned medical professionals, the FDA was forced to bring about historical changes. On October 16, 2004, the FDA issued black box warnings, the strongest warnings that can be issued demanding the drug companies to clearly state antidepressant drugs can cause suicidal thoughts and actual suicide in children and teenagers. People are more aware, much more aware. I have spoken out 
so much that I have parents now call me and tell me because of Candace their children are alive or because of Candace they knew what to look for and remove their children from medications. And I think she would say, Mommy, I'm really proud of you because you're helping other people. And even in death, Candace continues to help other people and to love other people and help them get through things.